Hello and welcome to Guitar Gear Gyan with me Sahil Jagtiani where we talk about all things related to the Indian guitar gear scene and in today's episode we're looking at the Court SFX Myrtlewood guitar but before that make sure you click that subscribe button and ring that bell to stay up to date with all our latest videos. So this is the Court SFX Myrtlewood guitar. Not turtle wood, but myrtle wood. Look at it. It's stunning. It's stunning. The finish is amazing. The neck. Oh, what a neck. This neck is slight a touch of lacquer. Like when I say a touch, you know it's lacquered. You know it's not unfinished. It's finished, but it's so, so, so satiny, so beautiful. I love it. It's the most comfortable out of all. I remember having a Court Earth Grand guitar and I think it had the same neck. So I've got this guitar from Siddharth at Sound Glitz. It's uh, on loan for the duration of this review. This is not a paid review from Court. Um, we did a mega unboxing of this guitar and some other acoustic guitars. You can go and check that out in the link above. Make sure you watch that and see what comes in the box. Well, the action is quite high. Obviously, it's not been set up. It's come. I've got the uh, box straight from the, you know, his warehouse, and uh, it didn't go to his shop. So he would probably set it up and then sell it to you guys. It's a bit high. Uh, it's probably 2.5 to 3, but it's still playable. It's not not playable. It's good. Um, 32,000 rupees. Nice instrument. Let's check out uh, all the specs of this beautiful guitar. Those are the specs of it. Um, everything is nice. Of course, there's no volute, so it can authentically break if it falls down. Um, Fishman Priestess 2, uh, not a fan, not a fan. Um, nice finish, really nice finish. Ovang Call, I think, body, Myrtlewood top, solid top. I like it, I like it. The fret ends are a bit sharp, they're not well finished like on the uh, D6 over there, those fret ends were like nibs, like Gibson nibs, they're fantastic. Um, it's not rolled again like uh, the Sire or even uh, like the D6. Uh, it's a standard, you know, uh, chord guitar that you would get. The tuners, okay, even though I did say that, you know, they're very similar to my Earth Grand, which had some good tuners, the quality of these tuners is not that good, huh? Okay. Uh, I wouldn't, uh, you know, write home about it and say, oh, it's fantastic, everything is perfect. No, these tuners are not good. They definitely, initially I thought they would be as good as the Earth Grand tuners that I had. Um, these things take a bit of turning and uh, they don't hold tune as well as, you know, the Grovers that are on the D6 or even the Sire tuners or even the Grover tuners on the other uh, guitar that we got from Epiphone. So now what we're going to do is we're going to plug it in. Uh, I'm going to keep everything at 12 o'clock on the Priestess 2. Um, don't have much confidence on that pickup. But anyway, um, we're going to go into the computer straight and on the 12th fret, I'm going to have a pencil condenser mic. I think it's a P170. And we're going to have the uh, SE uh, larger diaphragm mic on the uh, sound hole Just to give you a better idea we'll toggle between both of these mics uh, during the um, the acoustic playthrough um, we'll do some finger picking stuff we'll do some strumming stuff we'll do some single note stuff let's get to the playthrough
All right, that was a playthrough. What did you think? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Would you buy it? Is it worth 32,000 rupees? Is there anything else that you would want to change? Let me know. Come on, come on, come on. Right, type, 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 quick. Good. All right, so what would I uh, unbiasedly say about this guitar? One, tuners are rubbish. Really bad, not good. Change them. Um, two, the body is beautiful. It looks so nice. I mean, this is what I was expecting, you know, in terms of the finish on the D6. I mean, the D6 is nice, don't get me wrong. But this is like, whoa, look at that. That's a nice back. That's a nice top. It's nice, nice. It's got some wood, good grain. It's got some beautiful character to it. I like this, okay? This is a nice finish. It's a lovely looking guitar. In terms of the sound, the, the Fishman Priestess 2 is not my favorite. I just don't like that pickup. I, I don't know why they don't put, a, you know, a condenser, a, you know, a sound hole pickup for this kind of a larger body, which sounds so lush and beautiful and, you know, blending between the, uh, the piezo and the, uh, you know, the, the condenser mic would sound amazing like it does on the Sire, for example. Um, you know, I don't know, I just think that's, that we're missing out a lot just because of that one small little, you know, uh, point. Um, other than that, acoustically, it sounded fine. There's no problem with it. Sounds good. Um, it's definitely a unique shape. I mean, I love the potential of this guitar. I just feel, wish they had done a little bit more, you know, to it. A little bit, just a little bit more. Looks superb. Plays nice. Um, plugged in, uh, no. But uh, all in all, go and try one out for yourselves and make your own decision. Hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure you press that like button, click the subscribe button and ring that bell to stay up to date with all our latest videos. In order to promote our videos on YouTube, we require a lot of interaction from you guys. So your comments, your shares and your likes all do help. Also, if you want to help us in making more videos, become a member on GigZ. Our GigZ page link is in the description below. We've got courses and a lot of other stuff also on that. Um, we're on social media. Make sure you're following us to stay up to date with all our latest activities. And above all else, make sure you stay safe by taking steam, washing your hands and wearing your mask and rock on.